The celebration of Valentine's Day on the 14th of February every year comes from an ancient pagan ritual known as the Satanic Feast of the Lupercalia. So Lupercalia was actually a celebration of bodily autonomy, sexual liberation, and reproduction. The festival of Lupercalia falls on 15th February every year. And in keeping with the ancient Roman tradition, the 10th and 14th February are usually observed as feast days leading to the actual holiday, which is on 15th February. The festival was meant to encourage a woman's fertility and pay homage to Faunus, the Roman god of agriculture, as well as Romulus and Remus, who were believed to be the Roman founders. So during the festival, the Roman romantics would get themselves drunk. Then the festival began with the sacrifice of a goat, which represented fertility, and a dog, which represented purification. To start with, the priest would kill the animals and cut the goat's hide into strips. They were then dipped in the sacrificial blood and women would willingly line up to be whipped with the bloodied shreds in hopes that this ritual would make them fatal in the coming year. Later, the women's names would be put in a jar for men to pick from and they would become a couple during the festival and even much longer if they deemed themselves well matched. So at the Lukapo cave, a dog and one or more male gods to represent sexuality were sacrificed by the priests, also known as the Lupeki. Two of them, naked, would be smeared by the blood from the sacrificial knife. And as the priests laughed, the blood was removed with wool, soaked in milk. The strips of the freshly sacrificed gods were referred to as thongs of a brewer. The festival would then be transferred to the ancient city of Rome. The priests ran around using the februa or the strips of the god to whip all the women. And this was a fertility rite welcomed by many of the ladies present who often bared their skin to be lashed. At the end of the fifth century, Pope Galatius banned the act of the celebration of the fertility festival or Lupercalia. In order to get rid of this festival, he introduced Valentine's Day instead on the 14th of February, which is actually the middle of the festival of Lupercalia. And he chose this day and named it Valentine in honor of some Saint Valentine. Now there are many versions of which Valentine is actually being honored when the Pope declared the 14th of February to be Valentine's Day. So there is a version that says that the Valentine that is being honored is one who was in love with the jailer's daughter. And there's another Valentine who was secretly marrying couples. But it's not really clear which Valentine is being honored. However, one thing that is very clear is that the Pope only succeeded in changing the name of Lupercalia to Valentine's Day, but the principles and the celebration remains the same. For example, the usage of red for Valentine's Day goes back to the blood sacrifices that were carried out during the festival of Lupercalia, and the usage of the contrasting white also goes back to Lupercalia, to the usage of milk during the rituals that represented fertility and procreation. Even to this day, it is clear that Valentine's Day is still about Lupercalia because on this day, it's a day of rampant lust, fornication and adultery. And many people worldwide are still paying homage to these ancient Roman idols, because idols are not actually an imagination, but idols are real demons that demand worship. And which is why even throughout the ages, they have been worshiped in a specific way. The same way that they were worshiped during this festival is the same way that they continue to be worshiped 
during what is now known as Valentine's Day. They are demons that demand sexual rituals and were believed to be gods of love and which is exactly the same thing that Valentine's Day is about. Although the spirits that are behind it are clearly not those of the love of God, but are a continuation of the ancient idol worship that began in Rome. And to this day, many demonic sexual altars are raised in honor of Satan on this day. On Valentine's Day, we see even people who are saving themselves for marriage give themselves up and compromise because this is not a day of godly love, but this is a day that honors demons. And this is the reason why the same colors are still being used to glorify the ancient idols and to continue the worship of these demonic Roman idols. So on this day, sexual altars are raised and the reason why we see so much rampant immorality taking place on this day is because so many people are worshipping these demons at the same time and are still honoring the Feast of Lupercalia. So Valentine's Day has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. It has nothing to do with the love of God, but it is a demonic festival that has continued and people have continued to worship these demon gods. Now, when we look at the animals that were specifically chosen for the Feast of Lupercalia, firstly, we look at the God. And when we look at the God in the New Testament, we find God likening the unbelievers or the people who are going to perish. He likens them to gods. Matthew 25 verse 32 to 33 says, All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate them from one another, as a shepherd separates his sheep from the goats, and he will put the sheep on his right, and the goats on his left, which represents a place of rejection. And when we look at the dogs, again, the Bible says in Revelation chapter 22 verse 15, it says that outside are the dogs and the sorcerers and the sexually immoral and murderers and idolaters and everyone who loves and practices falsehoods. So these two animals do not represent anything godly, but they represent evil. When we look at the spiritual meaning of these animals, a dog is a spirit of sexual immorality. When we come to the, the spiritual meaning of the animals. You know, a dog represents a spirit of sexual immorality and a goat represents the disobedient. So these people, in order for them to honor these idols, they made sacrifices of both a goat and a dog, which is representing a spirit of unbridled sexual immorality, just like you cannot control a goat and just like a dog is a spirit of sexual immorality. So when you combine the two, you actually get a spirit of unbridled sexual immorality. So it is a very dangerous spirit that you do not want to invite in your life. It is a ritual that you do not want to be a part of through Valentine's Day celebration. So we need to be very careful, brothers and sisters, and not be part of this evil, which is demonic worship. 